Me and James just couldn't help ourselves. Huh? All, all the snow. The ground isn't frozen yet. I kind of acted as a barrier to insulate the ground because it was warm right before it snowed. My uh, second signal is a bracelet. Copper. You can see where it was soldered together. There's a little bit of silver solder here somewhere. Cool. Keep going. Well, I'll tell you, after weeks of not digging, a weedy is a welcome sight. My hands are way too cold to get a date off this thing. So, uh, I'll get you a picture then. Hey, I just found a ring. I don't know if the stone's still in there. It's kind of a weird setting. I don't think it's precious to see copper, but I'll clean it up here and I'll get back to you. That's about as good as I can get it right now. I take my gloves off. I can't feel my hands. My water bottle's frozen. It looks like it was plated. That'll be a pretty little ring. Hopefully the stone's in there. I don't have uh, anything really on me to clean with, so. I'm starting to get some goodies up here around the porch area. finial off of something not sure though to what to but it's old and it's brass and it's cool i'll take it i believe i got a accordion reed here yeah this place has some age we're gonna have to come back here once all the snow melts i can barely get signals got about six seven inches of snow I'm trying to work through here so hopefully there's some good deepies here <clears throat> Thought I had a silver coin here. I popped it up. I see some stones. I think I got another ring. This one I think is going to be precious. It rang up super high. Let me find out that's not even a ring. What is it? That's silver though, dude. It's heavy. What is it? I don't know. That's bearings. It's not bearings, dude. There's a freaking hoop there for... It's jewelry. That's sterling, dude. It rang like a merc. That's heavy too. I thought that was stones. St I seen it like this. Yeah. It looked like a ring with stones. I'm not sure. No, no I'm maybe. positive. I'm 100% that sterling. I guarantee it's marked too. Right there's the thing to hang it on the pendant. Yeah. All right, I'll clean it up. I'll be right back. I literally just told myself minutes. You said that to me. Before, oh yeah, I did say it to James. I said I want to find something really awesome before I leave. Look at that open work pattern. That's an awesome pendant. That's sterling all day long, baby. Hell yeah. Hopefully there's some friends. All right, guys, I'm back out here at my buddy's grandmother's house here for a little bit. James couldn't make it today. He went out yesterday. Uh, Scored some pretty good stuff. I wish I would have been able to go and film, but we're going to try to hit it Saturday. He's got to pick his kid up from school, and this is my second hole, and I got a good find, I think. Let me turn you around here. All right, I just pulled it out. It rang like an Indian. I don't know if it is or not, but we're going to find out together. Pretty dark. Yeah, it's an Indian. Awesome. Awesome. Let me clean it up. I'll be right back. She's pretty cruddy, so it's going to be one for the pencils, but I was able to get a date. It's 1900 on a dot. At least that's what I think it is. But it's going to be a nice greeny after I put the pencils to it. Awesome. All right, so uh, after 10 minutes of digging under that root there, I had another Indian signal. Let's hope so. Could be a weedy. I think I see the bottom of a head there. And it's not Abe. I don't think so, anyhow. Well, that's an Indian. Let's get some sunlight here. 18 something seven. Oh my goodness. Uh oh. I'm going to clean it off. Maybe it is. I can't tell she's too crusty. It's either 1907 or 1887. I can't tell. I'll get her cleaned up when I get home. You know the drill. There might be a picture after this. There might be a wrap up. I'm not sure I'm going to do this video yet. Be back, guys. Let me just pop this little buckle out. 
Doesn't look super old, but last time we were here, we found a couple pieces of horse tack. So hopefully uh, we'll find a cradle bell. All right. Just pulled out this thing. It's not a super old key, but it's a neat one. Got anything on it? It says something. Let me wipe her off here quick. Every time I pull out my phone, my, my Knox is going nuts. Can't tell what that says. Can't tell if it's a design or lettering. My eyes are horrible. It says H O something D. Horde? I don't know. Key in the pot. Not sure what this is, but it hit pretty high. Silver numbers. Looks like more jewelry. I see a big stone. Man, wouldn't that be nice if that was a real diamond? I doubt it though. These people are kind of poor. I do, however, think the outside is silver. It was silver, high silver numbers. Not sure what it went to, but. I'll take it. It looks like it's marked too. I'll clean it up. I'll be right back. So this thing is marked. And that thing is very, very shiny. And it has small cut diamonds on the outside. I think this is a top tail ring. There's maker's marks on there. And they won't do that with cheap jewelry. So I think I might have something here. And it hit high. It's 20 all day long my knocks. I'm going to have to get this tested. I think I might have a real piece of gold like high-end jewelry here i mean that that looks like ice to me dude and if it is that's a big stone i don't think they'd make cheap stuff and put it in this type of setting i really don't there's hallmarks and stuff on there we'll have to investigate further but i think i got something good here awesome I'll tell you, whoever lived here liked the fancy stuff, I'll tell you that. I think that's part of like a a buckle of some kind. It was like in two pieces, the other piece would go in there and then twist into place. That's a cool piece, man. I'll clean that up. That'll be nice. Has some fancy on it too. Cool. Next piece is this piece of clock. Everything I'm finding centered around this big old pine tree here. I've only done this little area with no snow in it. I'm gonna keep circling that and save some for James when we come back. Well, third Indian, pretty sure. It's only about two inches down. Oh yeah, that's a beautiful one. Come on. Tell me that's a 1909. I need that year. 1899, I think. Man, that came up nice. It's a beautiful one. Back's even going to be nice, too. Oh, yeah. Awesome. Man, look how nice emerald green that is. I love that. Beautiful. Think I got some shiny. That was literally right under the grass. So I'm gonna have to start digging everything. That's a murk. That's kind of what I expected. It was pretty shallow. Hey, that was my goal. Find a piece of silver today. Got a 38. And no mint. Perfect. And again, another shallow Indian. I'm still right here by this tree. And they are popping out today. I needed this. I haven't hunted, had a good hunt. I can't tell you when. 1903. I have a feeling I'm going to get my 1909 today. Hopefully with a mint mark. Awesome. Awesome sauce. Just look at it. Got a little flat button. First one of these I found here. 
don't think there's anything on it. I kind of already wiped it and looked at it a little. Didn't clean the back off though. I'll have clean picks after uh, after the clips, so probably a back mark. Who would have guessed I'd have found one of these? <laughs> Pretty sure every hunt. I can't even begin to tell you how many of these things I have. Cool piece of history though, nonetheless. Just flipped out a sweet little buckle here. Not sure of the age on that, but most likely horse tack. May or may not be. Never quite seen one like this. It's got some patina on it, that's for sure. Most likely horse tack. Believe I got another Indian. I'll take a five Indian day. Oh yeah, that's nice and green. That's a beauty. I'm losing light here. Get you a date if I can. Nineteen oh four. I know my own nine's in here, guys. It's gonna happen. I think I found my new Indian graveyard, man. Number six. All coming out pretty nice too, except for the first two. Pretty crunchy. Come on, oh nine, baby. That's gonna be eighteen ninety something. Ninety-eight, baby. All right, man. India number seven. I mean, they're coming one after another. This place is just littered. Hopefully, there's some silver. I wouldn't mind a barber or two or some seeded. This rang a little high. I thought it was going to be a memorial, but that's not. You can barely see her, but. My hands are absolutely frozen. Try to clean it up here for you. Sorry for the camera angles. Oh, one. It's coming. All right, I thought I had it in number eight, but I think it's gonna be some type of token. Too small for a penny. I don't think it's a dime. It rang 19, so I'll try to wipe her off. My hands are so covered in mud. I have no clue what that is. I'll clean it off. I'll be right back. Okay, I believe it says. Lewistown Transport. It is a bus token. That's pretty cool. I haven't found one of them yet. Back's still a little dirty, but I'll get some good picks then, guys. And another ring out of here. That's a big sucker. Man, I wish some of these were gold. That thing hit hard. I thought it was going to be a silver quarter. It hit 30, 31. Sounded amazing. Yep, copper plated, or gold plated copper ring. So we'll see some of the plating on the inside. Awesome. All right. All right, another flat button. Thought it was gonna be an Indian. Hit 19 hard. Nothing on the front, I don't think. Nah. Probably a back mark like all the rest. Now that's a cool little toy. Little tank. Looks like a Sherman. That's going to have a lot of detail. It's a little smashed in, but I think I can straighten her out. Awesome. I love it. 